Okay, sorry to be so abrupt, <laughs> but I don't want to get a I don't want to get a strike. Hey, everyone, I'm back on camera, but I have, um, as I said, I'm not going to be on here long tonight. First off, let me reintroduce myself for those of you who are running late to my Zen Den. I am Dr. Monica Bickerstaff Riley. I am a doctor of integrative medicine and the proud founder of the award-winning collection, Dr. Monica's Natural Beauty, Sustainable Beauty for everyone now, <laughs> uh, but primarily um, inspiring uh, self-care in women, women of color over the age of 40. Um, I'm also happy to say that my men's line, Zen for Men, is being marketed and sold in a very, very, great place in London, um, Beard Monsters, LLC. <laughs> so, you know, we're a little bit of, a little bit of everything, one-stop shop, and we are everywhere. But let's get into what's going on globally around us. And we don't even have to look far, uh, really just outside of our front doors. Um, it's hot. <laughs> it is hot outside. And I know you all are experiencing it. Wherever you are, we have th these debates. If you're on the West Coast in Vegas or in Nevada, well, you've got the dry heat, honey. Heat is heat and it is hot. But we are also seeing unprecedented high temperatures in, uh, on the golf course, golf course, golf course, golf coast. <laughs> um, Florida, uh, New York, uh, Midwest, Cleveland, Chicago. Uh, let's get out to LA, Washington, Oregon. Look, it's just all over. So one of the things that I want to mention um, before we go any further is you just need two things really to cool yourselves off. One is this lemon. I know you all always see me probably once every other month with a lemon in my hand because I'm doing something different with it. <laughs> and tonight I'm sharing with you why warm, cool, warm, tepid lemon water will help you to cool your body down. So all you need is a lemon and some water. I literally drink three of these a day now uh, with this heat, no joke. Um, and I squeeze the lemon, fresh lemon into a glass of cool water. You don't want ice water. You don't want hot water. You just want cool water to immediately cool that body temperature down. So a little bit of warm lemon water, and if you sip it throughout the day, 
It balances your pH. Remember, we are all striving to reach that alkaline uh, level, alkaline pH in our bodies. We don't want it to be acidic. It boosts our immune system. It aids in digestion. It acts as a natural diuretic. Um, it hydrates our lymph system. It's very important. I think I'm also going to do a future video on how to um, drain our lymphatic uh, system on certain parts of our bodies because that kind of helps to push the waste through. That helps to also keep our bodies um, cool. Remember the alignment, the brain, the heart, the gut. If those three things are not in alignment, you are out of balance and chances are 99.999% chances are you're not feeling well somewhere. Okay. This lemon in the water will help you to get all of that in alignment. Um, so the warm lemon water also aids in weight loss. And maybe a little bit, it might, um, because of the diuretic and because of the release of waste from the gut, you know, that might help a little bit with respect to uh, a, a looking towards a healthier metabolism. Um, it helps to purify and stimulate the liver, which is the main thing, okay? So let me go off screen again. I will be right back with you. Okay, so I'm back. This is much better. Listen, as I said, I've hopped on quickly. I'm not gonna stay on long tonight unless I start talking again, <laughs> just rambling. But um, look, there are only four things that you really need to do to keep your body cool in these hot temperatures. One thing that I advise is that you're gonna have to switch up your schedule a little bit. Um, if you are going to work in the mornings, if you are running errands, do those things before 10 a.m. or after 6 p.m. All right, then let me rewind for those of you in the back row, okay? Run your errands, get to work before 10 a.m. That means leave your house between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m., all right? Now, between 10.01 a.m. <laughs> and 5.59 p.m., if you can be inside, stay inside. Um, let's try to set our thermostats to anywhere between 77 and 79 degrees, if you can stand it. Because the other thing that we're seeing that's happening is the longer we are running our central air conditioning units, the higher our power bills are. So, you know, in the cool, inside, during those hours, uh, and then if you're not home during those hours, kick it up to between 80 and 82. Run your errands after 6 p.m., all right? The temperature starts to break. We start to see a, a steady decline between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. Start running your errands. Go out after 6 p.m., 7 p.m., okay? The other thing, um, drink water. Where's my bottle? <laughs> so you can see it. Ta-da. Wait, I'm not getting paid by these people. Ta-da. <laughs> okay. I don't know how many, this is what, 50 ounces? Oh, okay. I drink two of these a day, right? No shame in my game. Okay. Two of these a day will not only help to keep your skin hydrated, and your hair and your nails lustrous and beautiful. But um, <clears throat> pardon me, water is your anti-aging secret. Do I have to say that again? Water is your one and only anti-aging secret. And if you're not bottling it, if you need to boil it um, with respect to where you live, whatever part of the country, you might need to boil your water, but make sure you have ice, pour it over ice, Drink your water throughout the day, okay? Water, stay hydrated. So tip one, run your errands, go to work before 10 a.m. or after 6 p.m. Tip two, drink your water. Tip three, I had to write these down. Oh yeah, 
how could I forget this? All right. So at certain points of the day, or even when you're coming in from your errands or from your work or whatever, you know, it's hot. <laughs> so take a cool shower, a cool bath. Listen, understand the warning signals of um, heat stroke and severe dehydration. I'll go over two of the main ones and keep an eye on our beloved seniors and keep an eye on our beloved fur babies and our babies and our children because they are gonna suffer the most. Well, that's debatable these days. Uh, but if you start to get really lightheaded, if you suddenly come down with a very harsh headache, nausea, you're kind of seeing stars, your mouth goes dry, uh, you're disoriented, those are early warning signs of heat stroke. And you need to get yourself into a cool place, hopefully where you can immerse your body into a cool tub or cool shower. The other side of this is if you ignore those signs that are going on in your body, you will end up picked up by the EMTs, taken to the ER, and all they're gonna do is pack your body in ice packs or immerse you in literally a tub of ice cubes. Okay, listen to your body. Be kind to others in your family and others just around you. Because sometimes folks don't realize that they are going through these symptoms. If you see something, say something with respect to someone else. For God's sake, if you are still locking your babies and your pets in these hot ass cars, I have nothing to say. <laughs> you deserve every bit of coming back out to that car and seeing your window shattered because someone called the fire department to rescue your child or your pet out of your car and shame on you, okay? No, no, that's not good, no bueno, okay? All right, uh, what else? I have three things, I thought I have four things. There you have it. Sip on your lemon water throughout the day, drink your water, <laughs> uh, run your errands and go to work between 10 a.m. or after 6 p.m. Make sure that when you come in from the heat outside, make sure that you immerse your body immediately, either in a cool bath or a cool shower. Try to taper down on the alcohol and the caffeine, caffeinated beverages, because <clears throat> those deplete your ability to uh, manage the heat. Wear your sunscreen. I don't care who you are. Make sure that you have that sunscreen massaged into all parts of your body that are exposed. So your arms padded on your face. You know, there's so many different brands of sunscreens out there now. Um, so there's no excuse. The sun is inordinately close to the earth right now. And the ozone layer has cracked. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about that. So protect yourselves, protect your elders, protect your babies, make sure that everyone is taken care of. And on the next note, <laughs> uh, I just wanna thank, I want to take some time out briefly to thank those of you who supported my last podcast that was for mature men only. Um, step out of the ego and get your shit together, <laughs> okay? I, an unprecedented number of viewers and listeners all over the world, I wanna give a shout out right now to uh, the businessmen in Nigeria, my Nigerian collective, who uh, have been sharing that within their company. Um, I just wanna thank, I, you know, it was placed on my heart, on my spirit, uh, by the spirit of my dad, 
And um, I just knew it was a message that I had to get out to you. Now, coming up this week is my next podcast. I don't know when I'm gonna drop it. I was planning to drop it tonight, but this thing with this heat and people dropping and being miserable, I had to you know, kind of curtail my own um, priorities and kind of insert this thing, you know, it's hot. <laughs> and I have central air running, but it's hot. Um, so this week I will drop my next podcast called um, Purpose on Point. Are you living your life on purpose? Do you even know what that means? And if you're not living your life on purpose, why don't you get you one? <laughs> get you a purpose. And why aren't you? Why not? What does that look like when you're not living your life on purpose? But most importantly, how do you, regardless of what age or stage of life you're in, how do you get your purpose on <laughs> so that you can live your life to its fullest according to the divine plan? and be content and at peace. Because right now I'm telling you, the goal of each and every day is to be grateful to see each and every day because each and every day is not promised to all of us. And we never know when we're gonna be called, right? Uh, but the other thing is um, not only to be grateful, but to live your life on point, which means to protect your people by any means necessary. Be happy, okay? You are loved, you are worthy, you are enough, make it count. All right, that's all I have to say. I am Dr. Monica Bickerstaff Riley. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel, come on. I am on 370 subscribers. I'm trying to get up to 500. It's free. All you have to do is click on the subscribe button and it will let you know when I'm dropping new material. Um, I'm gonna be dropping, I always say this, right? I'm gonna be dropping new material more often, <laughs> at least every two weeks, I can commit to that. Uh, and you'll get a bonus, you'll get two this week. So click on that subscribe, like this video, and I will see you in a few days with the podcast about purpose on point. Are you living your purpose? And if you're not, how do you get you one? All right, love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. You can find me on Insta at Dr. Monica Bickerstaff Riley. Hit me up on Facebook at Dr. Monica's Natural Beauty. You can subscribe to me at Dr. Monica Bickerstaff. And um, Amy at Fountain of Youth Guru 6969 at gmail.com. All right, I'll see you all soon. Take care. Wait a minute. Okay, <laughs> I'm missing my cues. Take care, everybody. Love you. Talk soon. <laughs>